Now with her first passengers aboard, attention was focused on her modern, attractive accommodations. It was evident that those who traveled on the first nuclear passenger ship would not only travel safely and swiftly, but in convenience and comfort. The cabins are bright, spacious, and well-equipped. A luxurious lounge features color television, a library, and unusual decor, such as tables cut from solid slabs of petrified wood. The lounge also offers a fine display of works by some contemporary American artists. A golden model of the original Savannah is displayed at the entrance to the dining room. Here, passengers are served fine food in an elegant setting. On one of the open decks, the fresh sea air and sun may be enjoyed, free from soot and exhaust. The enclosed veranda contains a variety of entertainment facilities and a full view of the outdoor swimming pool. At night, it becomes a center of some of the ship's social life. Passengers are permitted to tour the bridge and learn something of the ship's navigation. Here, they can see the controls for the ship's steering and stabilizers, and perhaps receive an explanation of the latest type of radar equipment carried by the Savannah. From a visitor's gallery, passengers may observe the ship's turbine and gears, and the engineers at work in the control room.